Hello guys, Emotion here and I'm back with another video and today will be the review of the Full Power Super Saiyan SX Figure Arts Goku This will just be a little quick review since I have something to do um, Well not, not really something to do, something to do with the stop motion because obviously as we can see we're at the um, Multiverse Battle Part 2 set but I've gone into a major dilemma because the light that I'm using right here I need the remote to turn the colours green and red and stuff and I can't find the remote so I'm going to look for the remote after I do this quick review. So yeah, this won't be a long review or anything. So yeah, um, I'm very excited to see what this figure can do. And I'm just really excited about it. Because my last Goku figure um, unfortunately broke. The six figure out one. But I mean, I see glued the head back. But it's still not the best. So that's another reason why I got this. And I just love Goku, obviously. This should hopefully be my last Goku. Because I don't need another one. But anyway, here we go. I'm going to go unbox the figure. And then you see me. And the figure just standing there. So yeah, here we go. Right, I'm back, and now, yeah, the, here's Goku. Uh, first thing and impression is this figure. It's really, it's really good, obviously. I knew what I was expecting coming into this review because I mean, I've obviously I've had an SH Regrets Goku in the past. This one's actually kind of different. The the actual figure itself feels different, a little bit different, and yeah, obviously it's a different form. Super Saiyan Goku. I absolutely love the hair on this one, especially this one. But yeah, um, the accessories are about the same as the uh, last one. Oh no, okay, that's not a good sign. His leg just pops off. But it's cool because I can easily just put it back. But yeah, this figure's okay. It's just, it's not, wait, no, it's, it's, it's actually good. It's good. It's, it's, it's really good. But yeah. Like I said, I love how he looks. The articulation's pretty much the same. It's the same figure. But yeah, just another Goku to add to the, add to the collection. And a Super I feel like if you are if you like Goku, you have to have a Super Saiyan Goku, right? You can't not have a Super Saiyan Goku. But yeah, and obviously I have one right here. This is something that I've always wanted to do. Because he comes with like the actual full power Super Saiyan Goku head. Like the smiling one. I feel like people sleep on this head. But I, I really like how it looks, so obviously we're just going to swap it out with we'll faceplate. I shouldn't really say head. But yeah, I, I love how that looks. I'm not sure if it's just me, but I really do like how that looks. It looks way better in person than it does on camera. For or, or, like Obviously it does. It never looks as good as it does on camera as it does in person. But yeah, in part two of the multiverse battle, you guys will definitely be seeing this Goku. And obviously, here we have Miguel. This guy's a pain to animate with, but obviously he's one of my favourite characters ever. So yeah, obviously you have to love Miguel. Miguel and Goku action, yep, these guys will definitely be fighting in part two. My classic stare-offs, Goku does actually have to look up quite a bit to, to, to see Miguel. But yeah, hold on. Bell, okay, you know what, yeah, it's fine. But anyway, I'm going to go put this guy into a pose. Maybe like a standing up pose and him charging up kind of. I don't really know how to explain it. But it's the regular old Dragon Ball pose. Now one thing I have to say about SH figure arts is you have to be really careful with them. You have to be really, really careful with them. And that's what I'm going to be like with this Goku. I'm going to have to be really careful with them. But yeah, first in-hand impressions is I really do like this figure. As you can see, yeah, this classic old Goku and a nice classic pose. Obviously, he comes with the same accessories. Uh, this hand, the, you know, the um, fighting one. A te teleportation. Um, one more te teleportation. Instant transmission. You have the blasting hands, the grappling hands. And we have a teeth gritted face. The screaming face that I'm about to put on him right now. And then we have the regular face that you saw on him before. But before I change the face, let's just look at this one for a second. I really like how focus, please. Yeah, I really love how this looks. I don't know why. I I don't know why I like about it so much, but in person, this head looks so good. But yeah, now let me just go and change to the screaming head. Yeah. All right. Hold on. And then there we have the screaming head, the Super Saiyan screaming head. Really, really nice. Really, really nice head there. 
And um, this practically concludes the review, if that's the right word. So yeah, this is the end of rev- uh, this is the end of the, the review. This is the, this has been the full power Super Saiyan Goku. Really good figure. Um, I really enjoy it. Obviously, gonna, it's, it's going to take me a while to get used to it, like it does the most figs. When I get used to it, I'll, um, I'll probably like him even more. But yeah, as you can see, a little kicking pose. It's not the best, but I mean, yeah. But yeah, this has been Emotions, obviously. You, you guys know me already. And then, yeah, this has been the Super Saiyan, full, full power Super Saiyan Goku review. And hopefully I'll find the remote for the light. And if I do, you guys will see some behind the scenes stuff, probably. So yeah, peace guys, love you all, and I'll see you later.